Hello friends, this is Umesh Arora from CATCAM Solution Merit and today we will create this part. So here we have two views, one is front view and second is section from AA. This is my section AA uh, where I can see this section which is uh, 68 mm from the right and some 3D views are there. So I will start from this. First of all, I am going to create this head. And later I will create the center line and after that I will create the section for this so let's start with the annex and if you are new to our channel please do subscribe our channel so here uh, select this sketch and I'm going to create from this YZ and draw a line so I'm starting from here this is my center line and which is 77 in length and align this line to the origin make them point and curve okay now uh, uh, select this profile and I'm clicking here and a little bit perpendicular then taper and a little bit below perpendicular and inside again perpendicular and close to this point okay now double click and change this angle to 90 and so now define the all dimension and click this or I do one thing I am going to mirror this mirror this line only not all the lines just change it to single line and my single line this and center line is this and before that don't convert the line into center line or if you want to select this and ok so here in our case I am not converting this line in center line and draw an arc and the radius of this arc is 70 and this length is 44 and again 32 so select here from this point to center this from this point to this point it is 32 and here First double click over it, 80 is the diameter, so 40 will be the radius and define the angle. And right? first I am going to define this angle. So this is at an angle of this line is angular 60 from the horizontal and close and again here from this line to this is 84 means half of 84 is 42 and here this gap is from this point to this okay it is not coming so I am creating one more line which is perpendicular and cut it now again define this dimension from this to this line and this gap is 65 okay 32 already I have defined 77 the last dimension is 77 and this is 4 and again from the stop to this last line is 77 which is already come so delete this and my sketch is fully constrained now just click over this line and convert to reference and same here construction line and same for this now finish it and I'm going to revolve this section 
so here we have this revolve section is this my axis is this angle is 360 degree and close so my first step is complete if you want to hide hide this sketch and for next step I'm selecting the same plane and here I'm starting with the line and click for a second uh, press the left click and drag arc will come automatically and my arc is touching to this center <laughs> now dimension is this length is 68 and here this radius wait and the radius is 223 and the total length is from here to this So this is 13 minus 8 is 5. So 180 minus 5 is 180. And close. And see this. Okay, my sketch is fully constrained. No need to define this gap. Okay, it is already defined. So if you want to define that, so we have to delete this one so anyone you can define finish it and now datum plane and one datum plane here and in this plane sketch okay and my section is a circle now dimension it dimension of the circle is 28 so change to 28 finish again one more plane which is at the end of this curve and drag it to resize this plane and I'm going to create next stretch over this space And my section is here AA, which is here the same section I'm getting here so first I'm selecting this so start from circle my circle is 12 is the radius 24 will be the diameter and same one more diameter and align vertically and align this center to the vertical axis okay and the distance for distance I'm selecting this upper point and the lower point of this and this gap is 40 and select an arc and draw a arc with tangent so here also it is tangent now double click and this arc is 35 in radius change it to 35 and same here 35 close and from the geometrical constraint, I am selecting this tangent, tangent, and draw one more line. Okay, use the stream option. Okay, and the midpoint of this will be placed at this point. So make them consonant okay the so sketch is fully constrained finish it and again one more plane which is at the section so drag okay and create another sketch over this new plane and same same i am doing here draw 24 one more 24 and align vertically with this and use this arc
35 is the radius and here also 35 is the radius and use this tangent make them tangent and tangent draw a line between center to center and place first trim this center point will be placed at this point right. now my sketch is defined so we have to define this 40 means this outer to this outer this is 40 now my sketch is properly placed and properly defined finish it and first if you want to hide hide it so it will be easier for us to create this sketch so I am using this swept and first I am clicking this section arrow is going anti-clockwise add and next is here add and third one is here and my guide curve is this which is connected curve so it will connect like this and here I am selecting this alignment to point and preserve shape and line will show and zoom it and drag to match this lines Okay, almost it is okay my lines are properly now and change this to blend so section will come like this I click okay <coughs> see okay if you want to hide this just deselect this preserve shape so line will not come shape will show and show this again and select this unite to combine these two solid and here uh, we have to extrude so select and extrude this circle so this is shape no problem and pipe is the distance see we have already subtract reduce one uh, 5 mm so 5 is this apply and close <clears throat> okay something is not properly so undo and extrude select single curve and 5 add okay okay now it is properly extrude over this face and next circle is 24 in diameter 24 diameter finish and extrude it it so extrude this circle 8 mm and unite okay we have to define one plate here and the plate is 2 mm so click and ok now uh, hide all the planes and sketches and make the shell so I am selecting this shell what is the thickness I want to remove this face and this way as well click hide this is sketch and this is sketch so this is the result hope you got it if you like this please press the like button thank you for watching